Como um, to look at that busted pier. And Richard, I'll let you kind of take over and lay out. We, we think we've come up with a somewhat of a plan. Just to recap, and Jake can fill in too. Just to recap, uh, we were in the process of having the pier repaired uh, because of some bad cracks that developed over the winter. By the Giza Corps. And in the meantime, a truck decided to hit it uh, after 100 years. So it's in pretty rough shape. Uh, what we're looking at doing, uh, after a lot of discussion, is, is we're going to repair the pier, but it'll move in a little bit and it'll open up Como uh, Drive a little bit. My, my fear has always been that, besides the fact that the wall is over 100 years old and it's a historic wall built by the Ames family, uh, is that when you open it up, you have people walking there from the parking lot or to the parking lot. They're all over the road. They got dogs on leashes that wander out into the middle of the road. And somebody was going to get hurt if you widen that and make it allow cars to come in there faster. So what we've agreed to do, what we've been pushing for, is a sidewalk of sorts. Uh, so there will be a sidewalk leading, there'll be a, a gap on, on the apothecary side of the Como Drive. There'll be a gap in the stone wall. The, the stone wall will be repaired. Pillar moved back a little bit. There'll be a space in there for the sidewalk. The sidewalk will go down the left side of that driveway going in on the apothecary side. It'll go all the way up to the lower Como parking lot. And then there'll be a crosswalk across the road to uh, the, the lower Como parking lot. We think that's the best way to go. We looked at the other side. It gets complicated because of land issues, property, um, property lines and the like, a telephone pole. Uh, so, uh, and most of this work will be done in-house by the highway department, except for the repair of the stone wall. Do, are we going to put out a, uh, a bid for that? We can do a, an official RFP, or, or I believe we can probably just get uh, a call and get three or four bids. Okay. Okay. And, we and we've, get got, going. we've got two, well, we're working on it. We've got two or three, we will get two estimates from each contractor. One will be to repair the wall as is, because this is going to be an insurance claim against the driver of the car. And then the second bid would be to take, move the pier over, and I think you, we talked about a foot and a half, two feet, somewhere along those lines, and then create that three and a half, four foot opening. Mm -hmm. So that would be two separate prices. Um, this also will go through some channels. It'll go through the Como Advisory Committee, eventually the Land Conservancy, and things like that. Jay, do you want to say anything about it? Uh, just that uh, having this whole production on the town of Woodstock property uh, is going to be much simpler than one of the ideas that we had had before was to uh, inquire of the church down there if they would agree to various proposals that we had around. But in this case, keeping it all on town property means that it's clear whose responsibility it is, and uh, it's also clear that we need to get involved in uh, bottom of the hill politics. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit of a joke. Thank you. So, so ultimately, well, I think it's just going to be a lot safer for pedestrians, and uh, we still get to keep the stone wall. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Well, two things. The first question I have is, uh, I have one question and one comment. Uh, the question is, so when you put the sidewalk in, will there be any less parking area for cars along that no. side. Okay. We'll, we'll, so it'll go it'll still be to there. the inside of the... Sure, okay, yeah. so we will still get to park there. And the other comment is the crosswalk, which we're eventually going to have, um, would be kind of right there anyway. So it that's would a, be very close, so, and we so, talked about that. Right, so that's perfect, because when we get the crosswalk in, the sidewalk mm -hmm. and the crosswalk will be in some response, so that's a nice placement. Now, uh, uh, since you brought up the parking, one of the things that a couple of the merchants down there have brought up, and I'm not opposed to this idea, um, is the thought that th there are about three parking spots where, where you just described where the sidewalks are going to go. Right. Um, there are about three parking spots before the telephone pole. Mm -hmm. And the merchants mm -hmm. down there have wondered if the town board would be agreeable to putting up signs there that say 20 or 30 minute parking. Mm -hmm. It's benefited 
all there, including people who are running in and out of dispatch quickly, mm -hmm. sure. uh, to have that short-term I parking. think our hours, because you know, if somebody comes to a town to a, a town hall meeting at night, you wouldn't want that. But like until five o'clock, like business hour nine to five, have 20, 30 minute parking. I think that makes a lot of sense. Right. Uh, look. That's okay. I'm no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'll let you. Go ahead. You're saying you want to limit the parking with those three or four? Just those two. On Cuomo. Yeah. Right on Cuomo. The first, side. just the, the first, drive. yeah. Because I'm suggesting, I'm not. the people who come in to town and want to go shopping or whatever, it's in lower parking space. We limit it to 20, 30 minutes. Not they they can park lot. in the lower lot. They can park in the lower lot, just those first couple of spots. Yeah, but we're, we're always in need of more and more parking. Well, let's talk about that because the, the next, the next thing I was going to bring up with this talk about doing a sidewalk and, and the crosswalk then is uh, are we, would we, would you guys be willing to entertain the thought of expanding that lot? The lower column. Yeah. yeah. Sure. I've been asking and, for that for years. And it would probably be a second tier because it's sloped there. Oh, right. Which is fine. We can have an upper and a lower yes. where they, they yes. would possibly be unconnected, you know, there might be a retaining wall. Right, but yeah, safe with guardrail or whatever okay. is needed to make it safe, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah I, I'd have to look at what you're talking about here because there are some, there's a seep in there. The, the lower coma, the yeah. Lower coma. So even even, mm -hmm. even where the parking is uphill from that, you think is sufficient? That's where the seep is, oh, uphill. Okay. Well, well, we can look where the, where the well, town I, lands are and see. And, and that's, that's what I'm proposing, do we want to take a look at it? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying it's possible. Yeah, I think you got to be careful there. I think that is one of the governmental areas, though. No, it is a governmental area, but right. uh, some other people have looked at that with the express. I thought we had a um, engineering study done there when yeah, Jeff Moran I mean, was. They were going to they were gonna put a building there. Not exactly. Right, they wanted to put a building there. That's where the building was going. Yeah. Well, would you know right. where that is? Or Bernier and Laris would have the engineering study, I guess? They would still have it. I might have it also. Okay. Well, when I've spoken with Mike about. Uh, Improving mm -hmm. the uh, lot down at the bottom. Uh, clearly, the uh, first issues would be to straighten out the uphill and downhill uh, lines. Mm -hmm. So, that, and then he said, maybe there will be legal room enough for a third line of vehicles parked along the center. He was not certain about it. He didn't make any promises, right. but. Uh, he said it's a possibility, which would increase the uh, use of that lot enormously. Mm -hmm. I'd like to look at that as well because I mean, I'm there every weekend, park down below to go up to the historical society. There's a lot of wasted space in that parking lot that we can make better use of. The well, lower lot. Well, the lower lot. Yeah. Well, certainly, if we if we did the same thing that we did over here on the upper lot and that we're about to do on Mountain View, Make it neat, neat it de delineating, yeah, like really yeah. add spots. Mm -hmm. I agree, because I, the, the other night uh, that you had the opening of the Historical Society, there were probably five or six different spots where three cars had you know, parked. If they had all just moved over a little bit, you would have got a third, another car in there. So it's a lot of wasted space. The other thing I'd like to see going forward is if we're going to do that work, we also talk about or think about cleaning up some of that uh, on the church side of that property a little bit and you know, making it look at least halfway nice, maybe put a couple tables, two picnic tables in there, some blue stone benches or something that people could sit, you know, just have something that's more presentable than what it looks like now. Where is this? Where is the church side on the, you know, Sort of in the backyard. By the lot. Well, yeah, the whole, par the whole parking lot's that? a little rustic looking. It would be nice, it, it, like Bill's having nice to deli delineate it, neaten it up, neaten and, it and up. your ideas are good as well. Landscape it a little bit. But that side's pretty wet, isn't it? I'm not talking to go, for, if, if you go in a certain distance it is, but right. I'm not talking going all the way in. Okay. I'm talking on the peripheral. You could also run a path or a walkway from our new sidewalk all the way down to the end, which would take people into the uh, upper Ticker Street businesses as well. Through the lot. Yeah, through the lot. Okay. Interesting thoughts. Okay, so we're, we're in agreement that we should consider and take a look at it, and I'll, I'll have my... And, 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 I and I don't see that this would be done this year, I mean, we're going to have to come up with funding for it, 
But if we we could plan it. start to come up with a plan. Yeah. Well, that was going to be my question too about even doing the stone fence because I know for, for the crosswalk, it wasn't clear where the funding for that was going to come from. So it'd be nice if, as we find things that we're if we're getting funding for the stone wall, <coughs> does that bucket have enough to get the crosswalk? You know, five thousand dollars to get the crosswalk right. going. So it'd be nice. It's not going to do the whole crosswalk, but it would get the engineering work done. So did you ever get prices from Bernie Larios well, on I, what the engineering? It, it, it was about five thousand for the design, but I didn't get a price for the whole project. The well, because they have to go look at, they have to find out, they, ha they have to investigate property lines, how much the property does Woodstock own, how much do the uh, shopkeepers own, so you know where, what can come out. You have to design it because there's a bunch of bushes there, there there's a current sidewalk, there's a current, you have to know where the curb cut's going to be, there has to have to be a curb cut on both sides. So it, it sounds like a crosswalk, just grab a can of paint and there you go, but it's not that simple, not to mention the fact the sight lines have to be good because the, um, the New York State's not going to endorse something that doesn't have good sight lines. If they don't believe it's safe for people to cross, they're not going to approve the crosswalk. But so there's more that goes into the engineering. The, you're, you're the crosswalk, crosswalk on 212. Yeah, I'm yeah. talking about the crosswalk on 212. Right, because, that's, because that I'd like to have $5,000 to get the design done so that we know the full price of once the design is done, we know the full price of the rest of it, and I, I'd love to get going on that. If we're finding a bucket of money for the wall, if there were an extra 5000 Well, no, that's insurance money, money from the truck that hit it, but, but it's not town money. But, but if, we're building a, if we're building a sidewall, if we're going to take put a hole in the wall, a break in the wall, and then do a sidewall, We're going to put a, a gravel money. path in, yeah. But it, that would be town money. Yes, but it won't be, it'll be 1000 or 2000 oh, okay. cost. Okay. It's not. There's it won't no, be a lot. There's no windfall, is what you're saying. Okay. No. All right. Gotcha. Well, if you find five thousand dollars, let me know. We'll we'll earmark <laughs> it for you. So the, the the one other thing, just a quick conversation on noise, because I know I'm getting a few calls, the supervisor's cottage about noise in different areas, uh, the B and Bs, uh, some of the music venues, and I know that there was an email floating around about. Um, do we have a noise ordinance? Do we not have a to noise ordinance? Mm -hmm. You know, um, so we don't have a standalone noise ordinance, a noise law. What we do have in our zoning law is um, a section on noise, which prohibits it above certain decibels at certain times of the day or night. Um, so when a police officer tell somebody, you know, we don't have a noise law. I mean, technically, they're, they're correct. We don't have a noise law. We do have this zoning law. Now, I do recall that a year or two ago, could have been three years, it was a while back, um, there was a, a rash of issues, and there was some discussion about the need for a, a slightly stronger, better written law, or a standalone law that the cops could enforce. The, the, only the ZEO can enforce the zoning law. So is that something we want to start to tackle, take a look at? Yeah, yeah, I would think can so. Can I ask this? Uh, some time back, maybe two years ago, uh, there was discussion in the board about purchasing the possibility mm -hmm. of purchasing a new a sound meter or whatever the audio meter, whatever mm -hmm. it's called. I don't know that we ever. We did, did not. We did not. Okay. Well, then I think in order for us to contemplate a new sound and noise ordinance, which I think we should, uh, we have to get an appropriate uh, meter. Or the I think we need an appropriate meter. I think we can get the law up and running. I think it's going to take us a while to get the law up and running. Okay, well, and both aspects. But they would both have to be done. Yes. Good. Well, I think you do need a meter at some point, but part of the problem isn't so much. You can have a meter, and I, I forget what the decibel level is on, on the law, on the zoning law, but very rarely will noise complaints rise up to that level. That's loud. What the complaints you're getting now from the Airbnb folks next door or whatever probably wouldn't reach that level. But they are annoying to the people that live next door. Yes. It's, it's different noise, it's new noise, it's whatever you right. want to call it. Uh, and that's where I think we need to start concentrating uh, some of our efforts. In terms of, I don't know what the procedure is now for the police, and I know they got more than enough to do, mm -hmm. uh, but do they respond to noise calls all the time? 
should they? They're instructed they to, yes. They, 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 they do. They do. sign and off on the complaint. So, I mean, if you get a whole bunch where it said did not respond, did not respond, I don't think you're going to see that. And, and I will tell you that I, ju I did send an email down to the police department, you know, thanking them for a couple of things they've done recently for us and, and just reminding them that, a, you know, a visit from a police officer in the middle of the night because you're throwing a loud party goes a long way to making it all better for everybody. Exactly. So I've, no, exactly. I, I've encouraged Clayton and encouraged the department to continue that. No. And it's been my impression that for the most part they have. Mine too. I'm right. just referring to, I think, the email that went around. And, right. You know, Can it, I just make a suggestion? Just what finish, I would do is go to the... Oh, 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 sorry. Uh, because what happens is if, 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 if the caller, the complainer, gets even more frustrated if they think there's no response to the call. Absolutely. And, and, and uh, we need to be looking out for the taxpayers mm -hmm. on that end. But also, you know, once we have a better law and if we have the, the meter in place, you know, it's also beneficial to be able to go to the, the person raising the complaint and saying, look, you know, they're within the legal limits. And then at least, you know, everybody knows, okay, I, this, this is what I can expect. This is what the law says, and they're they're in compliance. Well, they don't have to like it, but at least you know, and I also there's think, an understanding. You know, if, if the police do show up at your house and it's an Airbnb place, uh, that that should be referred to the zoning officer mm -hmm. from the police. Yeah. I know Jackie has something. I was going to mention Perfect. something to her after Jackie. I would just um, because you guys certainly aren't writing this 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 show, so I'm sure it's been written before, go to um, Ulster County and look at the other towns oh, and see yeah. what other laws they have. I don't think it would take long to get a law together, no, I'm sure. And there's got to be something where there's uh, either disorderly conduct or a, um, um, you know, be kind to your neighbor type thing or That's something exactly where right. they would be yeah. able to have some sort of enforcement. And, um, but the standalone law would give the police that's right. that option. Right, because you're uh, not going to get the ZO. Ellen's already said she won't. She won't. Uh, uh, yeah, it's not practical won't. for her to no, be running out every night at midnight to she deal with. Well, I'm just saying, if it's if it's a known Airbnb and there's a problem, um, you know. Final. Well, that, Final. And, and that's why we do the local law. Right. That'll give the police. Well, officers. that's what we're looking at. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like a comment that I heard Richard make a while ago about. Uh, short of a law, short of a noise detector, uh, have the police go to the offending home or whatever it might be and, uh, you know, show them some police presence. Yes. And, and I relayed that to them last week and they assured me that's typically what they do. Good, because yeah, in the meantime, that will be our best option. Okay. So, well, so, so I'm, yeah. So I'm, I'm in full support of the idea of doing a zoning, a, a, a noise a law, stand -alone. a standalone noise law. And my recommendation is that we have, you know, by district to the effect of, I think it could be noisier in the center of town because we have some businesses, and that's part of the vitality in the center of town is uh, venues yeah. that have music. So I would hope that we have. Um, that a, there a, would have to be a, a by district, district yeah. statement. It would be by zoning district, you know, the like, Hamlet commercial, right, commercial. Yeah. I like Jackie's suggestion too that. There's different levels here uh, you know, of, of accountability. In other words, there's some that are going to break the noise level on your meter. Right. There's some that won't, and there has to be some accounting for that, an adjustment for that. Yeah, because you can have a, you can have a domestic going and it's noise. I mean, yeah. or or just arguing back and forth. The police are going to show up there, and if somebody doesn't settle down, somebody's getting arrested. Now, what are they getting arrested on? Some sort of disorderly conduct. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Up to your house now. <laughs> Let's do some resolutions. Uh, Jay Wink oh, I, 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 had, I had one more uh, thing. Jay Wink houses are worse up on the mountain. You bet. Yeah. Well, uh, before we leave announcements, um, I know a number of us were at the senior rec lunch, which was wonderful. <coughs> and I just wanted to say, um, you know, I stayed and listened to all the presentations of all the instructors at the senior rec. Uh, lots of offerings, in, in case you didn't already <coughs> know. Uh, they'll do singing, they do acting, they do artwork, they do bridge, they do exercise. And I believe, I haven't looked on the website to see where the list of offerings is, but I was told it was on the website. So just a reminder that uh, a lot of great offerings with our senior rec program. And, and I think, Bill, you had mentioned a while back that Woodstock is stated as one of the great places for seniors to live. Yeah. And I was thinking that as I was listening to, to all these offerings. <coughs> I forget who gave us that distinction, but yes, it was I did. I'm one of the seniors. <laughs> no, but it was in some national magazine. No, I'm we, glad we were rated. Laura mentioned that. It was a great luncheon. And uh, yes. I appreciate the invitation. You know, beyond the, the, the luncheon, they do a great job. 
we're bothering Nick up because he has some relative that might have something to do with it. Um, but they do do a great job. We have great programs. Um, writing as well. There's a great writing class. Mm. Oh, good point. Um, good point. Yes. So, with that, I will move to resolutions. Be it resolved to accept the minutes for meetings held on May 16th and June 13th, 2017. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to accept the town clerk's report. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be it resolved to authorize transfers per transfer sheet. Second. Uh, comment? Yes. Uh, as you all know, I voted against the hiring of B and uh, for the uh, development of the complex. Mm -hmm. And there are two bills. But Jay, this is for transfers, not the vouchers. Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't. Yeah. Pardon? So why, why don't you go ahead with your thought and, yeah. and we'll, we'll. Okay. There are two B and uh, vouchers among the vouchers we did today. Mm -hmm. T uh, the two of them to total $15,024. And uh, in order to be consistent, I would like to vote no for those two bills, but not against the rest of the vouchers. Okay. Right. Okay. okay. So I we'll just, do. Just, you understand that wasn't a, that was, they were not additional charges. They were yeah. part of the. No, no, but Jay didn't like the. Jay, no, I Jay understand. That. I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want people to think they're additional. To yeah. And, no, I, 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 and I'm okay if we break that that resolution in two. The the B hand is one resolution. He can he can just abstain from the two two vouchers. Yeah. So I'll back to the transfer that. sheet. Do I have a second? Yes. Yes. All Four. in favor. Aye. 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 Be resolved to authorize <laughs> payments in the of the audited vouchers in the amount of three hundred and two thousand four hundred and forty dollars and eighty one cents. Second. Second, and we will note that Jay is not voting for the B hand. I the rest. Uh, yes. I. 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 Yes. Well, he's, uh, not, he's not only not voting; he's voting no. Is that, is that a correct statement? No. He's not. He's abstaining. No. Whereas the town of Woodstock has determined that it is the best interests of its citizens to enter into shared service agreements with adjacent towns in Ulster County for certain highway, non-highway, specialty equipment, and/or skills personnel for highway and other town functions, and whereas Article 5G of the New York General Municipal Law and Sections 102, 133A, and 135 allow such agreements, and whereas Senate Bill S-2009C and Assembly Bill A-3009C, Section BBB, signed by the Governor on or about April 5, 2017, and enacted into law Titled Countywide Shared Service Property Tax and Savings Plan encourages shared services between municipalities. Therefore, be it resolved that the town supervisor, the town highway superintendent, the town clerk are hereby authorized to sign on behalf of the town of Woodstock shared service agreements with the towns of Hurley, Kingston, Sopus, Marble Town, Sorgates, Ulster, Olive, Shandaken, and the village of Sorgates in the city of Kingston. Second. Uh, I'd like to just amend yeah. amend this um, to uh, say to be it resolved to authorize the supervisor, the highway superintendent, the town clerk, and any other Woodstock official deems necessary be authorized to sign on behalf of the town of Woodstock. I second that. Could you uh, give me an example of another official? I have no idea, but the reason we're, the reason we're back here. Um, so I have a second for, for both motions. Yeah. Um, the, the reason we're back here is because the, the last resolution, the way it came from, from the supervisor's group, was just for the town supervisor. Turns out that the contracts called, the ones in front of me, called for the uh, highway superintendent and the town clerk. Right. I understand that. And they are elected officials. And, and they have authority. And we, we've added two more towns. Uh, I, I believe it's Hurley and Marbletown. I can't possibly think of another elected official unless they're looking for the police chief. 
Well, you didn't say elected official. You said uh, uh, a official, town a town, town official. Well, well, well yeah, you said town official. But so the other town officials just, I mean, I know as we look at vouchers, I know that the water department is, submits Mar ones, the police Mar department. Larry so, Allen. So, yeah, yeah so, so the water department, Allen. the police department. Mm -hmm. there, there wouldn't be too many more besides that. I can't the imagine maintenance, any. maintenance has things. So, so we're saying the head of department, when you say official, you mean head of department. Head of departments, I mean, they may want the deputy supervisor, anybody, you know. And well, well, yeah, if you leave it that way, it's generic enough. It's I mean, generic. you guys are going to vote on it anyway. Yeah. Well, well I, I guess the, um, well, so is that a true statement that whenever, when, when any shared services comes to the town, it would take a town board vote in addition to this? Because this makes it sound like people can go off and do the shared services. Without yeah, I, I always like the idea of having checks and balances where you need them, but we're not signing, checks and balances. We're signing where with don't. these specific. Uh, towns for this specific. But yes, you will eventually. Because I'm just hoping that the I I haven't got the the Marble Town. I just want to cover my cover and make sure that if that comes and there's something different. Well, I I guess and that gets oh, back to, to the question no. of is as we're saying, will it in fact come to the board? So if somebody can sign for the shared services, but this makes it seem to me that they can sign without it coming in front of the town board. Well, I, it's th just these specific ones right now that we're voting on. What, well, I don't have the Marble Town contract, so I want to make sure that there's nobody else. I, I don't want to have to wait a month to come back if the Marble Town happens to ask okay. for the, the, the water superintendent. Well, we're, you're already authorizing me to sign all these. And I don't have any issue with So why, why is it an issue if the, the if there's one more, that one more has to sign? Oh, are you saying that every, everybody on this list has to sign? Yes. Or one, oh, oh, so it's not just one of these people can sign. No. You're saying we, everybody. We all, all, have, three to, we all have, have to sign this gotcha. contract. Okay, so yes. I had to bring this back Fine. because Mike and Jackie have to sign this. Right. I don't want to have to come back next month and say, oh, gee whiz. We didn't realize, but Larry Allen had to sign too. Oh, okay. Should we say any other required Woodstock official? Because you just want to add people who are required for the specific case. What, what was the wording I used? Required um, is fine. And any other official necessary. deemed necessary. Yeah. Oh, deemed necessary. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. I, I, I understand it better now. Okay. Thank you. So the uh, we'll vote on the the uh, word change. All in favor? Aye. 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 And uh, the documents itself. Aye. 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 Okay. And I think Richard. Second of the word change, I think I seconded the document. Yeah. Thank you. I feel very good about it, this. It's it's, it's just uh, it's just these documents. Yeah. Yeah. But the uh, the uh, uh, work that we've uh, had the county share with us in the winter has uh, developed very nicely, very well. The the plowing. Yeah. I don't think you know, we didn't anymore. do it this past year. Yeah. And we didn't do it for the reason that, that, you know, Mike's been doing it for five years and he's been doing it for the same amount of pay. There's been no increase. Yeah. So, um, so I can understand that. And, and that may change. I mean, it should change. Um, the county is aware of why we didn't do it. And yeah. I suspect that they'll take another look and... and I feel optimistic yeah. about the uh, results. You know, I don't have any um, uh, concrete things yet, but we've been meeting, we've met two or three times now to come up with this countywide uh, shared service plan. And I'm optimistic there could be some good things that come out of it. Yeah. So. Okay. Whereas the Woodstock Volunteers Day Committee, in conjunction with the Alf Evers Award Committee, the Woodstock Volunteer Fire Department, and the Town of Woodstock, I've collaborated annually to honor and celebrate our wonderful community of volunteers. And whereas an annual Volunteers Day will promote our collective gratitude as a community to those who work to keep Woodstock safe, beautiful, inviting, and prosperous. And whereas an annual Volunteers Day will continue to advance the true nature and spirit of Woodstock as a community that tirelessly, even joyfully comes together to work and play for all its residents, Therefore, be it resolved to designate the third Saturday of August as Woodstock Volun as Woodstock Volunteer Day. Second. I, should, I joyfully. Uh, What's the matter? Should, should it say designated the second, second, the third, third. Saturday of yeah. August as, as the annual Woodstock Volunteer like Day? Like one other the annual. Annual as. Okay. Well, I'll still second it. Or all, all in favor? Aye. 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 And you joyfully? Joyfully. Joyfully. You joyfully say aye? aye. Yeah. Kumbaya. <laughs>
uh, be it resolved to hire the following seasonal workers for the Woodstock Summer Recreation Program at the per hour, per hour effective immediately. See attached sheet, and I think you all saw this sheet. I, I saw the sheet. When I looked at the last name, I didn't see an, a, ma a narrowly raised CIT, sheet. Counselor and Train Aid. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Um, yes. Uh, oh, I understand the per hour. Uh, Howard's uh, fees is, is, is a set. This is a salary. Set. Yeah. $7,000. Yeah, I know. How nice is that? I think still need a second. I'm going to knock yes. take it over. Do you second? second. <laughs> Richard second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, be it resolved to authorize the supervisor to sign an in lieu of parking agreement for Mountain Meadow Realty LLC at, for A&P Bar, 7583 Mill Hill Road, Woodstock. Second. And, okay, and... Uh, Is that the old video? Well, yeah, the back half of that. Oh, and this, you know, this is the uh, in the plaza there. Yes, yes. It's behind the bank. Okay. So this That's is right. um, okay. this is for a payment plan, and um, so they owe for nine spots, which is $4,050. They've already given us one check for 450 and they will give another check every month for the next eight months. So. Right, it's a, a nine-month plan. Yes. So, so now what I, the comment I would make, well, yeah, I know we're about to vote, it is just we, 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 we will as a town board need to keep an eye on parking in general because as places expand and there's going to be more expansion, we do need to keep track of, you know, the parking right now is a finite amount, so mm -hmm. we will as a board need to keep track of how we're doing about having enough parking for people. Mm -hmm. I, I am working on a plan down there with a private mm -hmm. property owner, so cool. that... that we might see an increase in parking down there. Cool. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, be it resolved to hire Tim W. Keith as temporary seasonal worker effective June 21st to September 30th, 2017 at a rate of $13.05 per hour for the town of Woodstock custodial department. Second. Second. So uh, maybe a month or two ago I mentioned that we were going to look at um, the possibility of uh, what well, we did, we, we solicited bids for mowing to have a private company come in. Um, we didn't feel there was enough savings to warrant doing that. Um, Tim was the young man who came in uh, over the winter and helped with the shoveling. He did a good job. He was a hard worker. Um, and so what Alan and I have talked about is that we were going to bring him in. He's very familiar with equipment. He's not a, a young kid. He's a, a young man. Um, he, he very seasoned with equipment and whatnot, so we anticipate that he will be able to do all the mowing, freeing up the other two to to go about their regular duties. So yes, we think it'll help. Um, with that, all in favor? Aye. 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 Yes. <laughs> You're kidding. I Any any particular announcement? Just, no, I mean, just take one minute. I, yes. I would be happy to just... Um, they got something to add to it. Okay. So we had a couple of announcements at the beginning of the meeting that didn't get uh, on the tape, so I'll just go over them again. <clears throat> I had mentioned some while ago that uh, I'd been in contact with the D.C. about the possibility of dog walking off the shop in Wilson State Park. It is legal to do that on the Colebrook side of the park. So if you go over on Colebrook, there's uh, several hundred, three, four hundred acres over there. That's all um, available for walking off leash. It's uh, bounded on Colebrook Road and then on the other side by the stream there, so you can't get over to the camping grounds. Camping grounds, you still need to have a leash. Uh, but they do have a new fenced-in dog run over there as well. So there's another option. Uh, Mike Reynolds from Highway Department called me this morning. They will be in the next week or two uh, starting the uh, work, the improvements over at the Mountain View parking lot. Um, they'll be cleaning up the first week or so, and then they'll start to put the fencing and the bumpers in. Um, this Thursday night, 
uh, 7 o'clock, 7 to 9, is the uh, comp plan public meeting at the community center. And the topic of the uh, meeting will be where we are now, where good stock is now. And as we have mentioned earlier, it's really critical. The more uh, public input and feedback we get, the uh, better this plan is going to be. So I think that was it. And Richard, you said you had one to add? There's one I forgot. Uh, we've begun raising money for the uh, Bluestone Memorial in honor of Jeremy Wilbur. And I want to thank those who've already sent money in. We haven't been pushing it, but we're going to start pushing it now. And uh, uh, you can send a donation uh, to the town of Woodstock. And in the memo part, portion of the check, please put uh, Reflecting Fountain or Jeremy Wilbur Memorial or whatever, something to reference where that money is supposed to go. Uh, we're, we're over 900, around 900 bucks we've raised so far, so I want to thank everybody who put that money in. I also want to thank the highway department which took down this huge dead ash tree out front here mm, today. I see it. I see and it uh, makes way for that we can begin work on the uh, memorial. So let me ask you now, they, they still have to dig that stump out yep. and should do that before. Will you guys utilize that area or will you be working in the different? We work here a little bit to the left of that. Okay. But we just didn't want to get hit when a tree yeah. came down. Yeah, I don't blame you. We're picky that way. And uh, the two stone benches out there, you We're going to try, try to utilize, see what we can do. Good. Yeah. Yeah, is there a budget, a target number? We're looking to get 3000 ah. uh, But the labor, the labor is free, so you know, we'll see what well, we can That's a with. pretty good rate. Yep. About what, and, about and, what we're worth. <laughs> and the other announcement we're just You said it, I didn't. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing we were talking about was the senior rec that might not have gotten on there. The senior rec town website has all the offerings. Senior rec had a nice lunch where they went through all that. And a reminder to people, especially if you're a senior, uh, lots of good things to do through the senior rec program of Woodstock. You geezers are worth your weight in gold. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> you're getting there. You're working on it. Oh, no, you're not a geezer. I'm talking about the geezer <laughs> corpse. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Jay, anything? Uh, yes, I uh, want to say I'm very glad to see Barry Samuels here auditing the meeting. He's a candidate for the... Uh, this is political. It's not a political job, Jay. No? That's not a he's not, he's not a candidate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad to see Barry uh, here auditing the meeting. Thank you. It's always nice to see you, Barry. Thank you, Bill. Um, and it's nice to see Felicia, and it's nice to see the witch not <laughs> nice. yes. and Iris. Uh, it's always great to see Iris. Iris is... Uh, Who loves taping our meetings. Y yes, and thank you, Iris, for doing that. All right, with that, if there are no, no other... Jackie, anything from you? Move to adjourn. Second. Second. In favor? Aye. 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 Let's go home. That was bullshit, frankly. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> bullshit. Well, I forgot. I forgot. That was yeah. not... Yeah. It was deliberate. I just... I know, I know. It's